A new health warning over that train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio, just over a week ago. It resulted in tankers of vinyl chloride going up in flames. Now three additional dangerous chemicals have been found on some of those rail cars, raising even more health concerns tonight. And shocking new video also shows the axle of that Norfolk Southern train on fire as it traveled 20 miles before derailing in East Palestine. Earlier, I spoke with our reporter in Ohio who said residents are expressing some big concerns. A lot of residents have just came up to me and said, you know, we're just really worried. Uh, I spoke with a business owner a few days ago, and she um, told me that she didn't want to let any customers inside of her business until she had it completely cleaned and the air quality was checked. Uh, that's what a lot of businesses and homes have been doing around here. And behind me is the school, and a lot of parents were concerned if it was even safe for their students to go back to all right, let's bring in Cheney Nesbitt, executive director of the Waste Station. It's a nonprofit helping people displaced by toxic chemicals from that derailment. Thank you so much for being here uh, with us, Cheney. I know that you've been helpful to those who were evacuated in that area. What kind of assistance have you and the organization been able to provide? Well, I'll tell you, our mission at the Way Station is to reflect the love of Jesus um, and be a community resource for those that are in need. And so we decided, let's just do what we do best. And so we have been able to assist people in the very beginning, mostly with clothing. We saw folks coming in three, four days after the evacuation still wearing the pajamas that they were wearing on Friday night when they were forced to leave their homes. We have been able to provide food for hundreds and hundreds of families, hygiene items, diapers for the infants, um, in addition to the clothing items. Uh, we have started to transition now to water and cleaning supplies. So, Cheney, you know, we've heard these reports on the ground of dead fish and other animals dying after this derailment, we just heard from Megan Lee, our reporter there, that people are scared. Have you seen anything that concerns you? You know, there's just so much fear right now. And I have too. I've seen the videos. Um, I have attempted to not get in the way, uh, to go to the ponds, to go to the creeks. Um, but I have absolutely heard the reports. I've seen the videos. I know friends and family members who have um, domestic pets that are not feeling well. Uh, so there, there is some real concern at what's happening with the not just the wildlife, but the domesticated animals as well. And so are, are they saying anything just about, you know, concerns about that controlled burn that took place and any of the long term uh, health side effects that, that they may experience? I think that as a, uh, you know, I can, obviously can't speak for anyone and everyone, but I think that we were um, convinced for sure that the controlled burn was the best option because we were all led to believe that shrapnel could travel as much as a mile if it um, erupted on its own. And I have so many family members in, in the evacuation zone, just outside the one mile limit. Um, so I think we ultimately felt that controlling it was the best way for it to happen, that it likely was going to happen anyway. Um, and just the unknown, no answers uh, to anyone's questions, conflicting information, it just has so many people afraid. So many have not returned home. Oh, and Cheney, that was going to be my next question for you. The fact that you have family and friends in this area. Do you know of people who are just saying, you know what, I I'm not I'm not going to return home. I don't want to I don't want to have my family around that. Yes, yes, we are still meeting the needs. Uh, um, a lot of people were out of work during this time. People had to go home. They had pets there. They have jobs. Uh, they feel like they don't have a choice. Others are waiting. They want to have their homes clean. They want to have them sanitized. They want to make sure they're safe before they go home. Um, so the ones who have had to go home um, are, are second, second guessing their decisions. Um, yeah. There's going to be a lot of fear down the road. Did they do the right thing? Yeah, and, and as you said, you know, we have to acknowledge a lot of times people don't have a choice. They have to go back home. Uh, Cheney Nesbeth with the nonprofit The Way Station, we thank you for your time and wish all of your family and friends there the best.
Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.